welcome back to the wonderful world of Hydronir. There's been a huge update. Things have changed. There's new equipment and items and things like that. This whole place has got a brand new feel, the housing area. There's also a brand new king area, fancy furniture by yourself, the most fanciest rugs and bed in all of Hydronir land, golden head statues, show off your fish and your jewelry. You can also, I think there's a new machine too that does kind of what I was wanting. The Goliath drill, extends the drill arm downward, yields more with better water pressure, it gets damage from unfiltered water. I think that's obviously a little bit better. Does it have a thing on the top? Nope, it's just pumping out stuff. Okay, so that's just a better drill. We got the ram drill that does the top level. We have a funnel, funnels things. Oh, maybe it helps with things exploding, so things don't explode nearly as much. We've got, what are those little dehickies? Cork! Oh, that's cool. The stop water flow, that's nice. We've got mining helmets, woo! Mining helmets, that's being nice. We've got our saws, look at this. Magnets on a stick. Then I think, isn't there, is there another, is there a new machine, like a new vehicle? There's the scrap yard, where you can take your unwanted parts and scrap them and Look at that big hat on there. Didn't see that hat at first. I hope the music is okay. Actually, maybe there isn't a a new machine. I thought there was a new machine that worked better than... Hey, I, hey Max, Maxi Boy. Uh, hey, can you make a, like a machine arm that can really like work through the dirt easy? Because that would be nice to have. Also... Did the map get updated? I do not know. But we're going to go back to the starting area. We're starting a brand new playthrough because uh, everything's been updated. The game's been optimized. Vehicles work better. Like, they don't go crazy anymore. And so there's a lot of things that we can do and explore and make new things happen. So let's begin, shall we? Well, there's no new areas from what I can see, but we do have... I mean, there's only one really good area with water there. I do like this area up there in the top left-hand corner. It seems like it could be a, a nice place to go uh, for mining and getting your mining operation. I think there has to be water by everything, right? So let's see. Is there anything new? We've got some new light posts. I think things have been updated, so things don't break as much anymore. But we're starting. we got to start all over again, so we need to start making some money over here. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. You get uncut gems, and then you cut them. So you need, like, a grinding wheel now, too. So there's a bunch of things. There's, like, more steps, which seems crazy because there's so many so many things to do already the game takes a long time it definitely has the uh the feel of one of those games that are where is the shovel that i get to start out my oh here it is <laughs> it's like i know that there's a shovel somewhere but i cannot find where the shovel is let's go ahead and plop this sucker down right here we're not gonna make the same mistakes we made the last time we started playing this game we're gonna do things better. Okay, so we're gonna, not gonna waste any time doing things. We're gonna just uh, go ahead and start making a pile over here. We're gonna dig ourselves a nice deep hole so that way we can get the most insane jewels ever to exist. Also, I think he did tweak the size of things that you get and so you actually maybe don't get as much or the largest gold nuggets ever anymore. Like you actually have to, uh, I just feel like everything takes way too long in this game. You descend to madness as you play, but the game is a really good simulator and you know, people seem to obviously really enjoy it. And I really enjoy this game too. I actually wish that people enjoyed it more on my channel because I'd love to play this game more because it's so much fun. Uh, but anyway, the point is, it's uh, we're going to have ourselves a, a grant. Oh, I can't. This is, that's as deep as I could. No, I was going to say, that's that can't be as deep as I can dig. I think we could probably get some decent stuff from this, right? From this hole? Let's let's start, let's start uh, filling up our bucket over here. Yay for this tiny little iron nugget. Once you make like that like tens of thousands of dollars in this game That just doesn't freaking cut it 
little tiny iron ore nuggets that that just doesn't do it for me anymore i need big gold hey that's more like it now we're talking oh look at this uncut rubies so that's what that looks like uncut ruby little tiny iron ore looking like thing but with but with uh wow that really lights up the area differently when you let's just let's just go sell these things and see how much money we make off of them just you gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> Aha! There she be! I got the pickaxe and we made a deep, deep, deep hole. This isn't even the best, this isn't even the best uh, that we can get anyway, because, you know, that's a pretty big nugget. I guess it can still be pretty big, huh? That's not even the biggest we can get because we have the, uh, the old shovel. We need to get the improved shovel, which is what I guess I'll get next. So that way we can just make this process go a little bit faster. But since we have played and we know how the game works we can definitely expedite the process get off of this little tiny area and go to a bigger mining operation and get lots more money where is my brush there's my brush okay big one okay we got a big one and some iron ore now now we're cooking with peanut oil right there that's what i'm talking about hey right. there's a you can literally buy the tool rack that's cool i didn't know i didn't know you could do that we got ourselves a nice new shovel. Now we're gonna make some real money. Well, I got a grinding wheel. I really don't know how to use it, but we'll find out. I mean, I'm assuming you just put the, put the, how do you even like put the thing on it though? I mean, I have to imagine you just put the stone next to it or something and then you just start cranking it or? It doesn't need power or anything. Like I literally think you just, can you spin it around? I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I just literally take and put a gem on it and then I can turn it. So that's all I need to do. But now I want to do that because I want to start, I, th I feel like this is going to make me more money when I start cutting gems. Also, you know how I was saying that there's not many of those little areas with water, like the mining areas? Pretty sure there's one with underground, with an underground reservoir. And that one seems freaking sweet. And I would love to check that out next instead of going to the big one that we were at before. Um, I think it's the one Matthews Aquifer. Like it literally says Aquifer. It says Aquifer literally on the map. <laughs> Maybe it's new. I don't know. But that's what it is. Alright, so I got more uh, pails and buckets and stuff because we're going to try to expedite. We're going to try to expedite this whole process. Make you go by way faster. And then hopefully generate us gems and income much more faster than it was before. Also, this music is in OST. And so uh, we got ourselves a nice, sweet, original soundtrack for this game, which is pretty cool. That's not how you do it. That's how you do it. There we go. Got that one done. We're just going to kind of... This is the problem. Starting off takes a while, but once you get things going, you can really make some money. Also, I, w I have an, if we have an underground aquifer, I, I really think we could make our setup better than it ever has been before i haven't had that great of setups in this game and so um i think that would be really cool to have a, a brand new area with a brand new setup and really uh hopefully yo you want to dump or what dump it in there wow it's kind of weird gems big nugget there's some gems look at the size of that one Oh, that's so, that's lame when you get one that literally has nothing in it. Why you do that to me, game? Why you got to do that to me, game? All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. This is actually my first time doing the nugget, the cut gem thing. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see. So if I just take this. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're getting some sapphires. All right, sweet. So... We, we got quite a bit of stuff there, so let's take this and we'll sell it and try to get a crucible. I need to make like a hundred bucks, I think, to get a crucible and a furnace. And then we can start smelting the gold and then making some bars and stuff. And so, well, I guess we got to get the blacksmith stuff too. Actually, I should probably wait a little bit longer. Oh yeah, 355 bucks off that. I got a, another, I got a ruby, two, two sapphires. So now we can really make some money because I'm going to be able to buy all this stuff that I'm gonna need. Hopefully, I think I'll have enough. 355 plus, f oh yeah, oh yeah. We got enough, we're gonna buy this. Hello? Hello? 
Hello. Hello. Where did that go? Crucible. We're gonna need an anvil. Ooh, that's gonna be costly. 86 bucks. A casting mold. And a hammer. 105. Oh no. 337. Oh my gosh, I got just enough. I got a little bit more than enough, but you get it. It was close enough, but now we're going to really make some moolah. All right, I'm hoping for a, a gem here. That's a pretty big shard. Give me a gem. Gosh darn these. I feel like he like really lowered the ch There we go. Lower the chance of finding stuff. It's you had no idea how many times I've like, well, that's a big bar right there. How many times I've, uh, you know, put washed out these things and nothing comes out of it oh yeah now we're gonna make some real money after we sell that thing i also can make another i probably just just use one uh oops there we go we're getting some shards too that's nice all right let's see one we'll just take and sell a dagger because why not that work nope get on there please we got some selling to do gonna Oh, I gotta heat it up first. Right. <laughs> I know things. Okay, I'm gonna heat that up for a little bit. I don't actually think it needs to be in there too long. I think, like, that might be good, even. You just have to get it a little bit. Come on, man. It's touching, right? You don't wanna work? There we go. Yeah, it literally... That's a big dagger. It literally doesn't have to be in there for too long to make it. That's really nice. And guys, I've got some sweet ideas for setups. I'm super pumped about it. Um, oh yeah, I gotta make uh, this to the necklace. And then we'll make ourselves a huge necklace and hopefully make a ton of money off this. Ooh, man, here we go. Oh yes, 1,862. That dagger's down, we'll wait to sell that. Uh, that's a ton of money. That's really sweet. Like, that's enough I can get the, the, the main digger if I wanted to. Also enough that I could probably go and buy a location, that location. And also, um, what was I gonna do? What was I doing here? Something I was gonna do. Oh, buy a bed. Right. Um, because we need to swap that day over. So then that way we can go ahead and sell that dagger for as much as we can it's never it doesn't ever seem worth worth it to me to make those weapons you know like they don't ever seem like they sell for that much um i don't know maybe they can and i just don't ever give it enough time but every time that i've ever tried it's like only like a hundred i think maybe i sold a massive one for like 300 once which is okay but when you can make so much more off of, you know, making jewelry, why, why, why waste your time making things like that? Okay, let's just 101, 101 there. I'm just gonna sell it. It's just not worth my time walking around doing this with this thing. All right, 107. There we go. All right, made 107 off that. I'm not gonna do that. But like, what do you do with the iron? You know, you just leave it sit there. Anyway, I'm gonna take this money, and we're gonna go to that new location and see how much it costs to buy that. And then I, I'm pretty sure that it has an underground, an underground area. So let's take Zemula. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, stinking thing. They don't turn, they don't turn all too well. You guys notice that? But we're gonna go to that underground aquifer location. And I think, you know, obviously we gotta dig down to it though, right? Or is it like that by default? No, there's no way. I think we have to dig down to it. So we'll have to make like a, like a ramp. Oh, everything's green there. We'll have to make a good ramp going down. So let's go up here. Is when you first at first glance you're like this area has nothing but i think this is the 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 aquifer area right should have brought the should have brought the pickaxe wow look at this terrain i'm pretty sure this is the area how much does this cost let's buy it and find out shall we oh 970. all right it is not mine 
I'm pretty sure this is the right location. I hope it is. I didn't bring anything though, like an idiot. Yeah, that's it. The aquifer. So South Hope. Maybe that one? Oh, that's the one. Okay. Yeah, okay. South Hope. Okay, we got it. We're in the right spot. That's all that matters. We're going to go to the right area and dig down and see what we can find. I'm just going to bring everything with me and just prepare to make a brand new area over there. You can really feel the difference in the optimization and how the vehicles interact with the ground and stuff. Things just run better. You don't have as much like lag and weird like movement problems where when the truck interacts with the ground it freaks out and flips everywhere. It doesn't do that, you know? Ah! Okay. Let's, let me, can I recall it? Please don't. Okay, there we go. So I think... The way that I want to, I got to get everything out of here though, because if I don't, um, it's going to massively lag. Like when I save it and come back into the game, if I don't get it out of here, it's just going to be everywhere because it explodes. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Speaking of exploding, I don't want that to happen again. Get all of our buckets out. It's going to take a while. Okay. I think what I'd like to do is literally dig like dig from right here and just make it a wide hopefully i can take the truck down there and then i can always just uh unstuck if i need to uh yes i struck water here we go look at this that's a long freaking way down though <laughs> oh man i'm pretty sure i just saw something go flying please say it wasn't something i needed okay the money's safe I saved the money. Look at how far down this is. Holy smokes. I might have to buy that that thing to, uh, like, <laughs> clear this out. The good thing is, though, what I really am excited about is that it's straight. Oh, that's just a piece of something. It's, it's just like a really easy ramp. So the crazy thing about this is I can build. I, I'm pretty sure I can build my base right down here and then gather all the materials that I need and essentially just make this go way faster down here but I you can buy big platforms now and so you can have um, you can have like a platform base uh, and have everything on top of it over the water and then we can have the pipes just literally like two inches away from what we need and then just gather everything and then transport it to the surface somehow. That's 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 gonna be the hardest part is trans. Well, but we can use conveyor belts, so that's not really that big of an issue. But that is a the best spot to uh, stop the video uh, for today. And then hopefully later in the week I can have this all dug out and have a way better looking area down here. Make a cave of some kind, and uh, yeah, just show you guys the progress that i've made you can't even see anything really the progress that i made uh since this video so thanks for watching hopefully you guys are having a great day see you in the next one